Hi, my name is Chilling, and I'm going to be presenting OSAVC, Efforts Towards Building a Community. The OSAVC, or Open Source Autonomous Vehicle Controller, is an open source hardware and software project that's vehicle agnostic. It was started by Aaron Hunter during his PhD research and supported by a cross fellowship in 2020. Um, the project or originates from the UCSC Autonomous Systems Lab established in 2003 by Professor Elkin. The lab has been engaged in creating an autopilot since 2009, beginning with the Pivotal Slugs autopilot, which now marks 14 years of cumulative expertise in this field. The OSAVC community has actively engaged in the Google Summer of Code program since 2021 and has been enriched by the presence of six wonderful contributors. Furthermore, in the summer of 2021, the project hosted a recipient of the Fellowship for Anti-Racism Research, now a mentor, and two open source research experience fellows in subsequent years, including me this past summer. These experiences have enriched our project, sparking new ideas and fostering a collaborative and inclusive environment, allowing us to learn, grow, and innovate together in this exciting field of autonomous systems. For the summer of 2023, the mentors were Carlos Espinoza and Aaron Hunter. They oversaw the documentation, simulation, and reviewing teams. In the documentation team, the plan was for me to generate the OSAVC documentation content and hand that over to Ani Ruda, who would take that content and format it in a website. In the simulation team, uh, Damodar would build a simulator for the one degree of freedom seesaw bot. In the reviewing team, Yukio would follow along the documentation on the website and periodically provide feedback for me to improve the content upon. With the goal of building the OSAVC community, the summer of 2023 had one central project, a seesaw bot, which all aforementioned teams would contribute to. Moreover, we wanted a simple, affordable, and reproducible project that would serve as the example project for using the OSAVC. The purpose of doing so was to not only receive contributions to the OSAVC project, but also to retain and foster a growing community that would continue their engagement with the project after the summer. This idea was inspired by Carlos's model to improve diversity, equity, and inclusion in BSOE open source communities. Because of the uh, nature of the project, which includes open source hardware, it would be challenging for remote contributors um, to, ac to access the necessary hardware. As a result, in order to generate the OSAVC documentation, we needed someone local who could use the software and hardware and generate the documentation content thereafter. To upload the content of the documentation to a website, Aniruda used the Vitepress framework. Vitepress is a static site generator designed for building fast, content-centric websites. In a nutshell, Vitepress takes your source, source content, content written in Markdown, applies a theme to it, and generates static HTML pages that can be easily deployed anywhere. Since there was um, no previous documentation for the OSAVC, I had to first determine the structure of the documentation guide. I settled on first creating a pinout diagram of the board, which I made from the KiCad uh, board schematics and documenting other related hardware content. Then I documented the software prerequisites for loading code onto the board, including MPLAB X, the XC32 compiler, and a serial terminal. Additionally, I programmed a user interface test harness for all the peripherals of the OSAVC and also documented the libraries of the supported sensors and actuators. Throughout all of this, I kept track of problems I ran into and made a troubleshooting section in the web page to help others resolve those errors. During the summer, um, I also did not exclusively generate documentation for the board. Some of my other work included debugging and fixing some of the errors in the OSAVC peripherals libraries. I also integrated an object detection algorithm in the OSAVC web server, which could run on a TPU accelerated Raspberry Pi 4 and fix some uh, video streaming and recording errors on the web server. Furthermore, I applied my web development knowledge uh, to improve the look of the web server. Additionally, I helped with parts of the CAD uh, for the Seesaw bot. 
Damodar used uh, the gazebo simulator for simulating the Seesaw bot and controlled it using ROS and also tested a PD controller with the simulated setup with the angle of the axis as the feedback measurement. Though he first experimented with Unreal Engine and Simulink for the simulator, he switched over to Gazebo and Ross, determining that would be the outline for future simulation work with the OSABC. The reason for this switch was because there were difficulties when he wanted to simulate a new robot, which was not already found in Simulink. Additionally, as the interactions between parts of the robot increased, so did the difficulty to define animation blueprints and build a communication and control interface between Simulink and Unreal Engine. Since the main project was consistent for all summer contributors, we held weekly team meetings in the OSABC Discord server, where each member, including the mentors, would update us on the status of their work. Due to the insights at each of these weekly meetings, they improved our collaboration and communication. On top of the weekly me team meetings, we would also meet in mentors individually, especially if an issue came up and we needed help debugging. This facilitated the compliance of deadlines and fostered a safe space where we knew that we belonged and could seek help from. Specific to the documentation and review team, Aniruda, Yukio and I would hold meetings to update each other on what content was being added, what content needed to be changed, and what content was uploaded to the website. To conclude, the results of the summer produced a Seesaw bot in real life, as you can see in this picture, and in the future, this bot will be further developed. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation, and if you're interested in learning more, here are the links for the GitHub repository and the documentation website that we created this summer. I also link the OSAVC Discord server if you're interested in joining the, co joining the community. Thank you so much once again.